To start, we're going to chop the three onions finely to start the base of the sauce. I've then cut half the chilli because that one was absolutely massive. I'm going to cut this up finely and add that in. We're then going to melt the coconut oil and add the ginger and the garlic as well. To the onion and chilli, add two teaspoons of ginger puree and then two teaspoons of garlic puree. I've melted the coconut oil in the microwave and add that and then we're going to go on to simmering and softening down the onions. I'm going to switch the hob on and once you start hearing it sizzle I'm probably going to cook them for between 20 and 30 minutes so I'm going to put this in a medium to high heat out of a possible nine I'll probably put it in a six seven. I've lined a baking tray with foil. We're going to go on to chopping up the sweet potato and the aubergine and we're going to roast the potato for a little while, then add the aubergine and roast this for the curry. First, cut your potato into chunks. I'm going to spray the potatoes just with a little oil, give it a mix just to coat and then we're going to stick these in a preheated oven pan oven at 200 degrees. Next you're going to prep the aubergine so just cut them into cubes as well. After your sweet potato has been in between 10 and 15, I'm at about 13 minutes, I'm going to add the aubergine onto the tray, spray it with a bit more oil and then put it back in probably about 25-ish minutes. So that's me at 20 minutes. You can see the onions have started to brown. That's ideal. Sometimes 20, 25, I've put that in the method so that we're wanting it to look like that. Then we add in your tablespoon tamarind paste. and all your herbs and spices. So I've got two turmeric, one coriander, one garam masala, one salt and one paprika, and that's all in teaspoons. And then give that a stir and cook over the same heat for another five minutes. For that five minutes you are going to again keep an eye on it make sure it doesn't stick because as you can see spices etc can start sticking at the bottom so just keep agitating it getting some heat through it before we add the coconut milk got to five minutes starting to get a wee bit more toasty that's what we're after put it all down and add your tin of coconut milk be careful when open this because it can go all the there we go Stir it in, put it down to a low to medium heat and simmer for 25-30 minutes. This is from Jack O'Donnell doing the supper club, so I've got my little handful of coriander. I've chopped up the stalks and I'm going to add this into the curry whilst it's simmering and the leaves I'm going to use as a garnish. They've got a lot of flavour, hence cooking with them is good. But actually in the sauce. Take the sweet potato and aubergine out of the oven when it's ready and we're going to put that to the side until the curry has been simmering for about 25 minutes. Then we're going to add this in and simmer it for a further probably 10, 15 until it just infuses, soaks up the curry sauce and it gets to the kind of um, consistency we're looking for. That's only been about 20 minutes, but looking good. So I'm going to add in the veggies at this point and then simmer for potentially another 10, 15 minutes and just allow it all to soak in. Add in, mix up, and can timmer, it can timmer, continue to simmer on a low heat. Once that's been simmering for another 10-15 minutes, you can see 
oil slightly separating up the side so we look for in curries and that's you ready so serve up nan rice whatever you fancy